Zynga Insiders are planning a big stock sale, and we got Dan Gallagher of Market Watch joining us now from San Francisco. Dan, um, they're are they bailing out or are they just cashing in? What's happening at Zynga? <laughs> Uh, I think they're taking a little money off the table, arguably, with the stock run. It's not a big cash out. Uh, you know, they filed for a secondary offering last week, and today they filed some details in terms of how many shares and who's going to sell. So, not surprisingly, uh, a lot of the VC firms and several of the top executives are participating in that. Uh, most of all, CEO Mark Pincus, who's selling about a little over $200 million worth of shares in this offering. And we're seeing the stock down about 4.5% now in, in recent trading. Emily? What does that do for his um, ownership stake in the company and his voting share, his power? Uh, he still retains uh, pretty much all of what he had. He has about 36% control of the, of the outstanding shares. That doesn't really change much after this offering because most of what he has are these special class of shares that have a lot of votes. So what he's cashing out here is about 18% of his Class B shares. Uh, so he still retains a lot of his holdings, as do a lot of the insiders there. So that's why this doesn't look like today like a big exit from the stock. Uh, but arguably, there's some pretty sizable sales, and it might be a, there might be some factor of the recent run-up into it. Okay, and and what is it? I mean, 200. The CEO alone selling 200 million dollars worth of shares. That's a big chunk. I mean, why, why? Why? I mean, why so much? How much do you need to live on? I mean, <laughs> uh, I can't speak to How much for groceries in might... Silicon Valley? I mean, how much, really? Real estate's uh, expensive. It's hard. It's hard to know. I can't speak to his own personal thing, but uh, with Zynga shares uh, up about forty percent so far this year, and a lot of that arguably has been the factor of a few things. They really got a boost after Facebook filed for its uh, for its IPO and people realized how much of a contributor Zynga, Zynga was to Facebook. Um, and there's also been some speculation about uh, legalization of online gambling, which would help their poker franchise, and some other factors. So you have this kind of big run on the stock, and I think when you see insiders sell uh, to some degree after a run-up, it starts to make people wonder. Yeah. One, one question that I had is you reported how an analyst had said that um, that the company's exceptionally strong growth might be in jeopardy with more competition. Can you talk a little bit about that and where is this competition coming from? Well, it's coming from a lot of places because uh, for a lot of video game makers, they see the social platform, especially Facebook, as, as one potential area for some lucrative growth. Now, right now, Zynga has not been under a huge amount of threat because it has the most players by far of any game maker on Facebook when you look at some data that measures that. But you have big game makers like Electronic Arts that are really pushing hard to get in this space and they've had some success with it um, and some other game publishers as well. So you have, uh, essentially you have what looks like a lucrative market. A lot of people want into it and since a lot of these games tend to churn over users pretty quickly, um, there's some worry that even if you have a really hot property today, it might not be hot tomorrow. Yeah, and that's it, isn't it, Dan? It's the, it's the hit-driven nature of this business that makes it a bit risky, a bit like the movie business. Um, anyway, we have to leave it there. Dan Gallagher with Market Watch out in San Francisco.